Hello guys, welcome back to the long-awaited FTB, oh shit, Minecraft series. Uh, so we have finally upgraded our house to this mega beast compared to that small piece of shit over there. So we're gonna, this episode is basically gonna be where we are gonna start moving our stuff into the house. So then we're gonna start off moving, moving our machines, machines and our equipment in there. So, uh. Let's get us started. I've also hooked up a lever on the inside to close the door. Sweet. And then let's, go, let's get onto our rails. Yeah, let's do this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, let's take a ride! Yeah, okay, cool. So I thought, instead of rather doing a little staircase or ladder, I thought it would be pretty cool just to do a uh, uh, rail, which is uh, it's actually set up pretty well. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really like it. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep, keeping a few minecarts just in case in my inventory, just in case. So we have, we have our um, solar panels hooked up to our bat box, which is receiving power. And uh, we now we need to hook up the power to our different machines. We have our project table, which is gonna be we, need, we might need a few of them. We got a macerator, which you can plonk. I'm not sure actually. We can actually probably expand a room into the this bit. So it's out of the way in the middle area. I'm going to do that now. Yep, I'm going to do that. That's, that's a good thing of putting it into, onto a hill or a mountain. You have, to, you have the room and uh, area and space to build into walls and areas like this to make a bigger house than what uh, you think you have. So I think this, I think this, this is one of the reasons I did build this house. Uh, it's because of the, the expandability of it. Not only can you build outwards, you can also build inwards. Uh, you can also build on the ground, which is a... Uh, should be done for solar, solar panels. So yeah, I think if you enjoy, if you do, if you do like the um, house and you haven't seen the time lapse yet, time lapse yet, I did do a little small time lapse of me finishing off the build. Uh, I, uh, there, you can go if you go to my channel, uh, you'll find it there. Also, whilst you're, whilst you're on my channel, you can uh, press that subscribe button. You know, gotta love it. I'm approaching 100. I'm, I'm approaching 100 subscribers. I think I'm eight off now, which is uh, not bad indeed. I've been on here for a year now, just to. Out there. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. Right. So let's make this room. I think it's going to be enough. I think for now, it's going to be the right size. We can get the wires around here and uh, in between the walls and stuff. So uh, I think it would all be okay. It would all be okay. I think we will um, put the wires huh. under the ground. Sorry. Put the wires under the ground. Just grab some torches quickly. Lighting this place up. No, that's okay. We're not gonna lighten this place up with a macerator. That's uh, <laughs> it's not how you light the room up. Torches, there you go. Boom. Okay, we have torches down, and all we need to do now is hook up the power somehow. Uh, have we got an axe? Yeah, we do. Okay, well, we actually we haven't actually got any power, um, just which could be interesting. <laughs> um, yep, uh, that's really clever of me just to throw it out there. Okay, so you can just dig into the ground here. There you go. Oh, dirt! Get out of my way, you piece of shit. Okay, so we can have this whole, we can have a whole uh, sort of power line going underneath here. I think that'll work right. We're on the whole edges, I think. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's how we like it. We can possibly have um, hide our power source down here. Actually, no, that's not a good idea. Cool. Right. Well, uh, obviously we can't. We haven't got. We haven't got much uh, glass fiber cables left. Especially after um, swing up that area down there. Oh, dang what? Well, dang what? Well, we haven't got any. Um, we haven't got any. Uh... Okay, okay. This is the last one. We need some stone, so we need to put our electric furnace down and uh, start smoking some cobble. Can we do that? No. Nope. Oh yeah, because you need to take up the output. Yes. Okay. Well, hey, there we go. So we should begin to receive power into the uh, the furnace. There you go. Yes. Right, we're gonna make some stone, and we should be able, we should now be able to cover up this area now that we have the uh, the facilities. Okay, so uh, we can just line up our macerators and stuff around here. Uh, we'll try and extract a uh, generator. We don't need, we don't even really need a um, generator. Generator. Gener I can't okay, shut up. Um, yeah, so we need to go make some more glass fiber cables, but we haven't got any diamonds yet. I know we all most of our stuff. Huh. It's, it's our old home, um, so we need to make a, quite a few journeys down there. We need to add some teleport thing. Can you make teleporters? Let's turn this off. Ah, teleporters. Te 
Teleporters! Turtle teleporters, teleport. How much how do you make these things? Uh oh. Well, uh, I don't think we did that for a while. Okay, I think I think we just stick to the old uh, the walking method. Okay, how's this uh, stone doing? There it is. Cool. Let's place this around here. Yeah, looking nice. Uh, we might change the floor a little bit. We can possibly have some marble, but or just wood. But I think if we go, if we have, if we have this as a uh, work working uh, industrial room, which is like some industrial flooring. Uh, it's like some really super strength. Uh, what's it called? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Here they are. Uh, not these, not the aquarium. Uh, where are they? Here you go. Rock, rock wall. Rock wall? Here you go. How do you like that? Okay, it's a different... Oh my goodness. So any rock wall plus... Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> How do you... Okay, I don't think you can make rock wall. Can you? How do you... Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you can't make rock wall, which could be a... It's just a shame, actually. It's a really, it's a really shame, because they're, they're actually pretty beast of a blocks. You can't destroy them using a normal, uh, normal equipment, so normal pickaxes. I think the only way I find out destroying them is going into creative mode, which is a uh, crap problem. Okay, let's place down the wood, and it uh, should be all sorted. There we go. Cool. Uh, we might need to find another power source soon, but for now, it should be working fine. Uh, because at night we just can, we just can lose, use so much power. Which is it? Which is good? It isn't good. Okay. Right. What other things can we do to decorate? I think we need to get rid of these torches. And there's some like redstone output thing with like lamps. Lamps. Can you get lamps? Yeah, you can still get lamps. So we can use some redstone lamps or some like coloured white ones or yellow ones or orange ones. I think, I think we should do that one day. Uh, obviously, we don't have yellow luma. Or that much dandelion and glowstone. Uh, but yeah. So obviously we will have more of these sort of uh, output rooms. Where we can have uh, chests. And obviously I was talking to the chests. We do need a sorting, we do need, we do need a sorting room. Uh, that, that can take us a while though. Because I'm a dumbass when it comes to sorting machines. These are red power sorting machines. And uh, they do take uh, quite a bit of effort. So. Right. We need to head down to the the house. Uh, grab some more. Oh no. Wait. Wait. Wait, we didn't got. Oh no. Okay, we we need we need to go down to the uh, the other house and uh, mix some, grab some make like, chests and stuff. Which we, damn it, this is gonna take us so long to get all our stuff back. I was thinking with this with this one that's going down, I uh, surely could just have a, a drop hole instead of having a, yeah. So the, 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 the um the cart actually just falls through the ground sort of thing. I don't know, but it'd be quite an interesting ride, you know. Oh hello, ship. Okay, let's head back to the house, grab some stuff, and then we'll head back up, and then we'll finish off from uh, some more decorations. Okay. Actually, basalt. Basalt brick looks quite nice in this new test pack. Hmm. Okay, I've lagged out. <sighs> right. Uh, okay, what, do, what stuff do we need, really need? We need a diamond pickaxe. The definite. Right, um... Okay, we haven't got really anything here, have we? We need a bed. Um, um, hmm. I can't think of it. Ah, oh, man. Alright, grab some bas basalt brick because we might need that. Basalt cobblestone, I think that is. Yeah, basalt cobblestone. Um, and then probably later on, I'd, uh, well, off camera, I'll go grab some, most of the. I'll, move, I'll grab uh, all of these resources, all the, all the things in these chests, and put them into a, a chest room, uh, which I'll build in the house. But doesn't it look sexy? It looks like some really futuristic space thing. If it was made, if it was made out of like iron brick, I think. No, it's some uh, really cool. But I, th I think I'm going to stick with the wood. You can't really go wrong with wood uh, in Minecraft. So, uh, yeah. This is my like, my secret, secret like. Yeah, okay. Okay, my commentary is really bad today. I'm really sorry. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I haven't played Minecraft on, on camera for... Uh, good good month or two depending on how long i've been building this house for jeez so that's been quite a long time then okay well like i'll get back into the swing of my my schedule on minecraft oh my god hang on a minute we're missing we're missing a log um i got no wood it'll be fine yeah so i'll get back to my um my daily my weekly schedule oh. 
Tuesday, Tuesday afternoons and when and Thursdays, which is when Minecraft comes out. Uh, there is no real way to find out my schedule. I just kind of tweet it out every so often. Well, if you watch my videos, you'll find out my schedule pretty easily. Uh, I don't know what to do with this generator. To be honest with you, uh, I think we need to put a chest in here. Or outside. Put it outside. There you go. We can have some engines, uh, circuits. Really, we need to put. This, I mean, we really need to put most of this stuff into a sort of machine, which we will be making. Which we will be making uh, soon. I think if this is our workstation here, we have we should have a uh, sort of machine and chest room around here. Obviously, it'd be quite a. I want, I want the room to be uh, deep, sort of thing. I want it to be wide, but uh, but narrow. And then wide and wide, but not long, sort of thing. So like this long, but I'd probably only three or four in. Or five in. Yeah, five in, then we can get two. Yeah, okay. Yes, this this long and five in. I think that'd be relatively good for what we have now, for the resources we have. But problem is, we might actually go through. No, okay, we should be fine. Guys, I'll, I'll have no worry then, because uh, I don't know how far the uh, the the earth is, or the area, the area, the space behind this wall goes back until we're actually on real land and not underground. But uh, it should be fine. I think this is five back now. Yeah, it's fine back. It's going to be perfectly fine. Uh, we'll probably have some underground sorting facility with it, which, uh, res with redstone sorting, torting, sort, oh, for goodness sake, sorting. So, yeah, redstone sorting machines, which is uh, which is possibly one of the best things. I, I would use diamond pipes, which is also another way of sorting items, but uh, this way is much cooler. It's more mechanical. And it obviously makes more sense. And, um, if a chest is full, it won't send you. It's basically if you know red power, uh, you know it's much better than Billcraft. I think it's Billcraft is the diamond pipes. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, so that is that. I mean, this this is basically my room. I just I just decorate with stone and some wood in a minute. But uh, that is it. I'm gonna pretty much end it here. Uh, once I got once I decorate this room, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this house, this build. It's actually been quite fun. I did have I did start one house with a friend, a hard bat wing. Uh, he's on. You can Google him, YouTube him. His name, YouTube name is Hot Batwing. Uh, we, we, were, we were doing a house together, like a time lapse sort of thing, but uh, that didn't work out well. And uh, that that house is pretty shit compared to this one. Not gonna lie, it was just just a little bit bigger. Our, our previous house, which is uh, not really what I wanted, and this is huge. And this this is gonna this is gonna be, it's gonna sort us out for ages. Sort us out for a while. We shouldn't need a upgrade for a while. So that we can just dig out, dig out areas at the back. How much stone we got? Oh, nice, plenty of stone. Cool. Yeah, so this house really does work uh, well. So uh, if we go we'll go watch my time lapse again, you can go find out how to do it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put the stone on the roof, put some wood in the ground. I haven't got any wood. Oh damn it. Well, I'm gonna get some wood, and uh, I shall see you next time where this floor will hopefully be decorated. So. I've been post taste. I'm sorry about these uh, the dodgy commentating this time, but uh, I'll try and prove them next time. I haven't really done any Minecraft commentary for a while, unless it's playing hide and seek. That is, but uh, it's gonna be different. That's of a friend. Okay, anyway, I've been post taste. I hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you next time in the series of FDB Minecraft. Until then, I've been post taste. I don't know why he's saying that. I need to uh, end. Okay, I'll see you later, guys. And uh, make sure you press that subscribe button. It really helps out. And I shall see you next time. Bye! Love heart! I'm doing a love heart! Oh my god! Okay, just, just stand it here. Yeah. Yeah.